Hi there, this is Terry at crosstech.de and I welcome you back to part two of our XForms video tutorial. So we're now at the stage where we can um, set up our web page onto which our form data will be displayed. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add some introductory text at the beginning of the page. To do that, I click on the list intro text tab over here and you'll see that you um, now have a WYSIWYG editor in front of you and it, within that you can add images, headers, you know, whatever you like. I'm just going to add a simple paragraph and then I will apply my changes. And so let's go take a look. Yep, it's there, everything that I asked to have put there. So with that done, we can now move on to the details area of that page. And this is where you will um, lay out your actual form data. So when you look at it to begin with, you see that you have a blank WYSIWYG editor in front of you. There's a really simple way to pull all of your fields into this empty page. And to do that, we're going to click on this Create Sample checkbox over here on the left hand side, then click on apply. You'll be taken back out to the view tab, but we want to go back into details again. And you'll now see that you've got a two column table there that has your labels in the left hand column and your values for each field in the right hand column. You could manipulate that in any way you wanted. Um, you could prefer to have your uh, labels as headers across the top of the page with um, the data in columns or in rows underneath it. Whatever you like, that choice is up to yours, uh, or sorry, is up to you. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. So with that all done, we are now going to apply our changes. And everything is pretty much ready now for our first list view. So the prep work is done and I now want to save all of my changes. So we click on the save button here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And slowly we will be taken back out to our list view um, screen and you'll now see we have one list view and it's the one that we just created called my first list view which uses the form sample quick mode contact form, which is a breezing forms type of form. We want to display it in the front end. And right now this, this list view is the first in the list. So it's in order number one. As that grows, you might want to change the order in which your fields are, or your list views are displayed here. And you can do so within that column. You'll see in the far right hand column that there's a published column and your form is being shown as unpublished. By default, the forms are not published. That's so that if you are halfway through working with your form but perhaps aren't quite ready for it to be displayed publicly, um, that can't accidentally happen until you publish your form or your list view. So, we are ready now to publish our list view and connect it to the menu. So I'm going to click on that little red circle with the X in it to change it from unpublished status to published. Now we're ready to connect this to our menu. So we come up here to our menus tab and then navigate to whichever menu you want to add it to. In my case, it's the main menu. So here we are, and I now need to create a new menu item. So in the upper right hand corner of the screen, I click on new. And that takes me to a field where I can select the menu item type. In this case, we want the X forms display records type. You'll see once we click on that, that two options pop out. Um, a details layout and a list layout. The details layout will allow you to display the details of one individual record. 
So you might have a reason to only display a single uh, form or the data from a, a single form entry. And in that case, you would use this record details um, layout. But in most cases, you're likely to want to do a list view, which will show the data from all of your published uh, form submissions. So we're going to click on list view. That will then take us eventually to our new menu item. And over here on the right hand side under the basic parameters, we have to select the view. And in our case, we still only have one list view. So by default, it's already selected. If you had multiple ones, obviously, you would need to scroll to whichever one you wanted connected to the menu. And then over here on the left hand side of the screen, we need to add our menu item details just like you would for any other uh, menu item that you're adding. So, so here we go, we're adding a title and then an alias. And we're going to display this in the main menu. Our parent will be the top. And yes, we're published. So with that done, we can now save our changes. And there it is, ready to go. So let's now check our website and see how that looks. You can see that here on the left, we've got a link to my first list view, so we'll click on that. And here we go. We've got all of our data set up. So this column, the name column, you can see is in the red font that we set up in part one of this uh, video tutorial. The email field has the mail to links and the final field has your uh, message column and it wraps after 80 characters as you can see here. Now if I wanted to view an individual record um, I could do so as I put up here to click on the linkable text in any of the fields below except the email field. So if we click on this for Marcus Bot, we now see the individual uh, form display for his record. And we can click the back button to go back to the results. And then we could also click on one of these for the same thing. We, by clicking on it, it takes us to the form results for that um, record. So everything looks good there. Our form has been published and the results are visible. You, again, might want to make some changes to how those are laid out because it's pretty, uh, you know, pushed kind of together so you could add cell spacing, cell padding, borders, etc., whatever you want. But basically that's the gist of XForms and how it works. So if you've got any questions, we'd be happy to help you via our support area. Uh, just go to crosstech.de slash support and you can submit a, a support request there. And, um, or you can just go on the forums as well and, and ask your question there. People are quite often happy to help. So I hope this helps you out in getting your first XForm list view set up. And um, we'll see you next time. See ya.